What is up guys, I'm back and this is the iPhone 6s. Before I continue, I just want to say a huge shout out to Ramstech for hooking me up with this device to review and all their links and stuff will be below in the description if you're located in Trinidad and Tobago and are looking to get your hands on some Apple devices. So the iPhone 6s was released a while back and shares almost the exact same design as its previous iteration, the iPhone 6, which totally lines up with the trend of these S devices from Apple. As usual, we have to check out what's inside the box before we go any further and I know you already know what's inside so we'll make it quick. One thing to note is we are back to having an image of the iPhone on the box unlike the 6 before and raising this top off using the usual text mash magic reveals the device. And as we know there's nothing more satisfying than the sound of removing this plastic, so here you go. Inside the box is what we would typically see with any iPhone, a lightning to USB cable, shame there isn't two though or a better quality one since these damage so quickly a wall brick and these Apple AirPods here packaged nicely in this hard shell like usual. Now without any delays again, this is the 6s. It looks the same as the iPhone 6 except for this little S at the back here under the iPhone branding, but it definitely doesn't feel that way. It's slightly thicker and heavier than the 6 and while you can really notice the slightly thicker body, you can definitely feel the weight. However, I really like the added weight as it feels a bit more solid and sturdy. It's running iOS 9 out of the box, the latest version of iOS, and with the 6s we also have the introduction of 3D Touch. And if you're wondering why it's actually called 3D Touch and not Force Touch, it's mainly because with Force Touch, there are two levels on the Z-axis, whereas with 3D Touch, there are more. For example, you can press lightly to peek at an email, and pressing harder and while your finger is actually still on the screen will actually open that email. This is also added to other elements in the operating system as well, but we'll get to that in the full review. If you'd like to see a full video on 3D Touch though, be sure to hit that thumbs up button and let me know in a comment below. Definitely my most anticipated upgrade with the 6S was the new 12 megapixel shooter. And man, was it well worth the wait. I'm currently using the G4, the LG G4, and just finished using the S6 Edge Plus, which we all know are the kings of Android cameras. And while this camera doesn't necessarily outperform them in every arena, it's definitely an upgrade from the 6, and the now available video recording at 4K resolution is more than welcomed. Just looking at these photos, you can notice the detail and sharpness, and this specific photo was actually taken while driving at a pretty fast speed. Don't believe me? Check this out, which is also a new feature, live photos. Now, the most impressive thing about the iPhone 6s to me personally is 100% definitely Touch ID. I don't even have to tell you anything, just look at this. Didn't catch it? Look again. I still don't think you actually comprehend this speed properly yet, so take one more look. I don't even know how being this fast is possible, but it's just amazing and outperforms the OnePlus 2 and Galaxy S6 Edge Plus by far. It's even so good I actually considered turning it off or using another finger since I never see my lock screen anymore and I'm not even kidding. So yeah that's pretty much been it for my first impressions on the iPhone 6s. I do apologize for my voice in this video since I'm now recovering from being a bit sick for a little while and that's also why this video took so long to come. But anyhow thanks a lot for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one.